can't for a minute. You know, this morning as I was preparing to come to the church, Kenny was on my mind and in my spirit. And Prince of Peace, you will be able to come sign with me on this. No one had a more infectious smile than Brother Kenny Lang. No one had a more welcoming spirit than Brother Kenny Gladden. Whenever we needed anything to be done in the church, if we couldn't count on anybody else, we could count on Brother Gladden. I remember the day that he first came to visit the Prince of Peace, probably in about 2006. I was a brand new pastor here, and I remember this young man would always come and sit in the very back of the church. He wouldn't say much, but at the end of the service, he would always come up and shake my hand and leave real fast. And he did this for probably about two or three months. He'd come in, sit in the back, wouldn't say anything, but always smile and shake my hand and leave. And then, as time went on, we began to notice that he moved further to the front. And he'd still smile, shake my hand, say hi to a few other people, then leave. Then he'd come closer to the front, smile, shake my hand, hang around for another five or ten minutes, and then leave. Then we started to see him in Bible study. And he'd be eager, wouldn't say much, he'd smile, he nod his head, at the end he shake my hand, fellowship from one, and leave. And then one day, he just came to me and said, Pastor, what can I do to really start serving here? I said, well, then what do you feel led to? He said, I want to be an usher. And it was at that time that Kenny began to feel his stride in the ministry of the Prince of Peace Baptist Church. Kenny went out, got himself a black suit, a white shirt, a black tie, and nothing could keep him from that post right back there at the door. Whenever you came in, rain or shine, snow or whatever, the first person who would greet you with that big toothy smile, and let me say, for those of you know, he had a big gold tooth right in the front, so shined at you when you came in. He would smile at you with that gold tooth in the front of his mouth, hand you a prayer, and say, praise the Lord, and show you to your seat. After that, Kenny began to become more and more involved here in the Prince of Peace and the Ministries. He was an avid Bible study attendant. He would come, he would take copious notes, ask great questions, but go home and study on his own. He was still a pastor. I went home and told my wife and children what I learned today. I went home and told my wife what we preached about. Then I started seeing his children come. His wife began to came. And the next thing I knew, Kenny became an on fire evangelist for the Lord. He began to share his testimony about how far he had come from, how he spent some time even incarcerated. And even after coming out um, from incarceration, his life began to turn around how he found Christ. And then it became a point when Kenny was not ashamed to let any and everybody know about the Jesus that he served. And so, about two years ago, I thought it not robbery, I thought it not strange or unusual, that when God began to show me who would be a deacon here, that Brother Kenny was one of the first folk to whom he brought, to whom he brought into my spirit. It made perfect sense. He, be, in that time, became a leader here in the church. He became well. He was a dependable man. He was a loving man. He was one who was just, just, just overflowing with the love of Christ. Amen. And I knew something was had changed about Kenny for the positive when back in 2011 we had the Progressive National Baptist Convention down in Washington. And Kenny wanted to go. He took time off of his job. And he worked his job where if he didn't work, he didn't get paid. But he made a point of coming to the convention every day to serve as an usher to represent the peace, Prince of Peace. And my heart being ever with Christ. If you've ever been to the convention, you know there are hundreds of ushers there. And there's a point.
morning, uh, Mary Knight will make it through the day crowd to usher his grand march. And as hundreds of ushers is walking around the, 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 the banquet hall, and they're just doing what ushers do, they march, they strut, they do. And the, as I look up on the big jumbotron, the first thing I see is Kenny with that big smile and that gold tooth leading the line of hundreds of ushers in this procession. That's what I knew for a fact that God was moving Kenny to something else. The Lord chose to take Kenny and call him home in October of last year on his 49th birthday. And while it hurt me to my heart that Kenny was not able to complete this process in the physical, what I do know was that up until about two days before he took his final rest, I told him, he says, Pastor, I'm still stuck here. I've got my sheet here. I know it well, I'm still stuck. And so on the day that we had our homegoing celebration for Brother Kenny, the church decided on that day that no matter what else would happen, on this day, that we will formally make Brother Kenny a member of the diagonal here at the Prince of Peace. And so when we are celebrating with Sister Rhonda, who is here with us, I want us not to forget what God had done in the life of Brother Gladden, the example that he set for his family, the community, and this church. Amen. And so we praise God for him today. We thank God for what he's done. And I'm honored and I'm proud that we are able to come here just to thank God and to celebrate his contributions to this ministry here.